Hi everyone, welcome to this session of QR code printing on invoices with respect to e-invoice. Now let's first understand the steps involved in printing QR code on invoices. The very first step is to generate the e-invoice in the government portal that is the invoice registration portal. Then the government system will return a signed QR code data that needs to be updated in the ERP system. Then the ERP systems will be able to generate a visual QR code based on the data provided by the government. Now let's first discuss some of the myths. First is that the government has released the information details required which together makes a QR code and the ERP systems can generate the QR code. Let's understand the fact that the government will be providing an encoded signed QR code data which needs to be printed as a QR code on your invoices. The ERP system will convert that QR code data into a visual and scannable QR code against the data provided by the government. The second myth is that on scanning the QR code using normal QR code reader app, we can read the invoice details. As mentioned earlier, government wants us to print the encoded QR code data as a QR code on the invoice. Normal QR readers will be able to read the visual QR code available on the invoice. However, on reading the same, it will show the data in an encoded format, which as a layman, we won't be able to understand. Government has provided a special app using which the QR code on the invoices can be verified. The app can be downloaded from the e-invoice system or e-invoice portal as shown on your screen that you can click on help then downloads and then QR code verify app. Now this is one of the sample QR code which needs to be printed. Now if you scan this QR code in any QR code scanner app, you will find the data like this. Now this is an encoded version of the details of the invoices. However, this can be only interpreted by the verification app which will be released by the government. Now one more important question is that is QR code mandatory on invoice printing? Yes, it is mandatory. So the recommendation from our side is that get your document report layouts changed to incorporate the QR code. And once you update the signed QR code data along with your e-invoice IRN into our system, the system will automatically start printing the QR code. There's one more confusion to this is that where do we need to print that QR code or where do we need to place that QR code. The QR code can be placed anywhere in the layout. There is no recommendation from the government. However, government has released certain sample reports where they have placed it on the top right corner of the layout. It's, it's up to you where you want to place it based on your layouts space availability. Now there's one more question in everyone's mind that what if I'm not able to input the QR code data into the system or my layout does not have any space for QR code or for whatsoever reason government has provided a provision to print the e-invoice directly from their portal that is the IRP portal you can print the e-invoice from there as well. Along with that e-invoice, you can attach your actual invoice as an annexure to that e-invoice and proceed with the movement of goods. Now let's understand the documents applicable for QR code printing from 1st October 2020. Applicability is only on B2B documents. Let's make this point very clear. B2C is not covered from 1st October. Now let's understand the documents. Government has specified that only tax invoice, credit note, debit note and export invoice needs to have the QR code printed after generating the e-invoice. Now if we match the respective government's tax invoice with Genesis, we find that in HO, the SND sales invoice transfer out if we are transferring the goods to other states then it is treated as a tax invoice then sale of service invoices 
and retail sale B2B invoices if we are providing the customer GST. In POS, if we are moving the goods back to HO or any other store which is out of the state, then those own store GRTs will be treated as tax invoices. Franchisee store returns, in case tax invoice process is used, that is the franchisee is showing as tax invoice and uh, you are receiving it as invert supply, then it will be applicable for those franchisee stores as well. If your franchisee is having a turnover of 500 crore, then only it will be applicable for the franchisee store GRT. B2B pause bills, if you are doing a B2B pause bill from your own store. In terms of credit note, we have uh, sales return in head office and sales credit note. For debit note, we only have sales debit note and for export invoices, we have sales invoice. So thank you and we will be releasing subsequent videos on how you can export the invoice details which can be imported into government portal for generating the e-invoice and how you can update it into our system and then the last process that is printing. Stay tuned, we will update you soon on that. Thank you so much.